Hey there, uh, this is uh, Silver Trader with my last video of this year. <clears throat> and uh, I guess I started in February, so I have a little ways to go for my one year one year thing. But uh, I think I'm up to about almost 800 subscribers, so that's cool. Uh, if you want to spread the word and put me over a thousand, I'd appreciate it. <laughs> uh, a lot of you have done that, so I appreciate that. Um, I seem to be getting more and more uh, uh, subscribers now lately. I don't know if more people are searching for this kind of stuff or what, but. Uh, Anyway, I'm going to put a couple of links up, as I usually do, um, supporting my, uh, well, not really my theory, but my math that things have to grow exponentially. First you have one, then you have two, then you have four, then you have eight, then you have 16, and so on. And it takes an exponent, exponential curve, including the money supply. <clears throat> so uh, everything stays cool for a while, and then all of a sudden it changes. It turns a corner, it goes uh, past the point of no return. And our money supply has done that. Uh, our, our population has done that. Um, things have to change now. We're, the, we're at the point where things are going to uh, change uh, quickly and faster and faster. If you notice how fast 2009 went by. I mean, 2009 went by almost as fast as a month used to seem. So our consciousness is, uh, is, uh, is uh, evolving at, an in, uh, at a very accelerated rate right now. Um, uh, for some of us, some of us are still stuck on dumb. But uh, I'm not and you're not. So... Uh, uh, look at the links. Uh, one is about the, the absolute positive that the uh, U.S. will be bankrupt, and the other one is about the bankers getting four trillion. First they got two trillion, now they're getting four trillion. What did I tell you about exponential growth? The next one will be eight trillion, and so on until until it finally blows up. And uh, it will have to come twice as fast. So I don't know when the first two trillion had to be borrowed. I think it was a year a year ago. And now we're at four trillion, so six months from now we'll probably have to be at eight trillion uh, if if uh, if things stay on course for this. Um, so a lot of people predicted something happened in January and February. I think uh, things usually happen around March and April for this market. Uh, usually when springtime comes, I don't know I don't know why. That seems to be something like that. Um, so I uh, hope you're uh, <coughs> at least buying a little bit of extra food from the grocery stores just to protect against inflation at the very least. Uh, buy things you can meats because uh, meats will hold you a lot longer than carbohydrates or fats so make sure you load up on mostly canned meats um, <clears throat> even if you're a vegetarian uh, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a crisis you want to you know you don't want to be completely against meat if that's all there is or what, what there mostly is so get some tuna or white white you know white albacore or some chicken or something but the the protein will definitely sustain you up to four times longer than the other macronutrients anyway um, what else uh, what else was I going to say I don't think 2010 will be a very good year I mean it is what you make it um, I think we need to bring this this is a year where more and more people wake up um, a lot of exponential growth will obviously work against uh, the leaders as people who wake up will be exponential um, a while ago there was some experiment with monkeys and uh, after after uh, they exploded a nuclear bomb um, on this island. Uh, they went back several years later to see if life could uh, be sustained there, and they put a bunch of monkeys there, like 12,000 monkeys. And uh, everything seemed okay. They were opening the coconuts and eating the coconuts and living off the land and all that. Then they noticed that the coconut uh, husks had a little bit of radioactivity on it. So they taught a few of the monkeys how to wash it off in the stream. And they noticed that uh, first there were about a dozen monkeys who washed it off and then uh, a, a while later there were 40, 42 monkeys and then it got up to the point where there was 100 monkeys and they said after the 100th monkey started washing their coconuts all 12,000 all of a sudden started washing their coconuts they all woke up uh, in mass and I think humans have that same I know being in business it's kind of weird how when the phone starts ringing the phone starts ringing it seems like everybody all at once wants their carpets done uh, <clears throat> It's, it's really strange, or if, if, if they don't, then no one does, and this phone stops ringing completely. So I think there's definitely a, a link to our consciousness. In fact, I know it's a fact. So uh, people start waking up to this. Uh, it's, it's, almost, it's almost exactly like the Matrix movie, where you're trying to wake people up, but they don't believe you. Um, so, you know, uh, I don't know. It's, it's exactly like we've been lied to. The, the, the view of the world is totally different. So people will be shocked to learn that. So don't don't... Don't, uh, truth always travels through three stages. First is denial, and then there's violent opposition, and then there's acceptance. Um, so, uh, you know, I know there's denial, I know there's bargaining and all that, but 
So there's going to be denial at first, so just expect it. Uh, it's just a process. Don't try to get them right to acceptance just because uh, you say a few words. So anyway, uh, that's about what I'll conclude with. Um, silver and gold are pulling back. It's a great time to to start re repurchasing that. And uh, have a look at uh, 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 oil stocks too. Um, <clears throat> I think those are real short. Look, look for uh, if you haven't seen the series on YouTube about um, the the oil peak. Uh, peak oil is usually a very boring subject, but this was the best series I've ever seen on YouTube. Um, I can't remember the guy's name. It's uh, just search for collapse. Um, peak oil. It, it just happened like the last couple of days. Look for the the date up in the upper right hand side uh, for peak oil. Um, the implications of peak oil or something like that. Economic collapse. Uh, just search for that. It's a guy being interviewed and looks like a basement or something like that. That's the best series. I mean, it really wraps everything up. So check it out. Um, I'll try and find it. I know I've sent it to a few people. So check, uh, you know, watch that and watch all of it too. So anyhow, uh, I guess that'll be it. Um, We'll regroup uh, over tonight. Don't drink too much and don't drive if you're drinking. You know, that's what the Bilderbergs want. They want us to all drink and drive and die, so don't do that right now. So, anyway, uh, I'll talk to you next year and we'll go from there. But uh, check out the two links and, uh, you know, I told you so. Exponential growth. The math is on our side. The math is the truth. You don't have to guess at it. And they can't, they can't defeat the math. That's why you're seeing two trillion, and now you're seeing four trillion being offered. So, anyway, see you next year. Thanks for everything. Uh, ciao, grub, whatever.